Hey Pisces, Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into your general reading for the month of January. Let's see what's happening mid-month. What does my Pisces need to thank you? Healing chaos and wonders. Okay. Not really mad at that. And let's get another one for my Pisces. What do they need to know mid-month? Surrender to the divine. Luck is on your side. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my phone was off. <laughs> so surrender to the divine, healing chaos and wonders. Interesting. You know what? You know what I'm hearing? Oh, God. And not to be cheesy, Pisces. I promise you. I'm not trying to be cheesy. But I'm hearing um, from Frozen. Uh, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I am going to say this for like one Pisces. Somebody may be trying to heal things with you. Somebody is trying to heal things with you. I just have to point that out. This could be a family member, a friend, a relationship partner. I do see somebody trying to heal things with you. There, It's like, you know, if Pisces wants to work things out with me, then fine, so be it. I would give it a shot. And if it doesn't, then, you know, it kind of is what it is. I'm just, that's a strong energy I'm feeling off of this. But just in general, though, Pisces, it's like you're you're cleaning up. You're cleaning up and you're cleaning up things in your life. You know, I know with the new year, the the cliche is saying new year, new me. But that's kind of what it feels like here, right? You're cleaning up the disaster, the people, the chaos, the situations, anything in your life that really didn't serve a higher purpose for you. You're just letting go and giving it to the universe. You're letting it go and giving it back to wherever it came from, return to sender. You know, you're not wanting to deal with circumstances or situations any longer in your life that brings chaos, that brings issues, that brings conflict, that brings drama in mid-month January. You know, either you're still cleaning out your closet of people or situations that have caused chaos or issues, or, you know, because of cleaning out your closet of people that cause issues and chaos, it's like now you have your energy freed up. You feel like you're feeling lighter you're feeling like there's so much that you can do there's so much that you can take on or that you want to do that 2022 and this kind of expands past january it's like you are kind of getting a new lease on life that's what it feels like it's like now that i've made space energetically of people that just aren't best for me or that aren't for my highest good it's like you feel lighter there's this light energy here you feel much lighter. Some of you may be getting further into your spirituality. Some of you may be getting further into divination. Some of you may be getting further into like, you know, certain practices that assist in overall well-being and overall wellness. Radical self-acceptance. Yeah. Yeah. You are perceived the way you perceive yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You're not settling for less here, especially with the bottom of the deck saying weeping wound, right? You are not your wounds. You're not settling for less anymore, Pisces. You're not settling for what somebody decides to give you or what somebody deems as reasonable to give you. And it, guess what? It's not on your level. It's not on your tier. You're just not accepting anything that somebody's going to throw out to you. You know, it's like here, I'll, I'll throw you a bone, you know, to shut you up or to appease you. You're not taking the bare minimum here from people or other situations because you know you're very deserving of more. And you've been through your share of SHIT. Doesn't matter what area it is in life. You've been through your share. You're very experienced. You're very well um, diverse when it comes to pain, right? You've been through your different experiences when it comes to pain, right? In multiple different areas. And at this point, it's just like for you, you know what? I'm taking back my power. I want to feel good about myself. I'm not going to let anybody else make me feel less than or make me feel that I'm not doing enough or make me feel like I'm not appreciated or that I'm not deserving or I'm not somebody that's to be admired. I'm no longer allowing people into my life that are toxins. Because even with this picture, she has her uh, one of her breasts cut 
from cancer, right? So there is a toxin growing in the breast that had to be removed. So now she only has one breast. And that's what it feels like here for you, Pisces, that either the people that or situations or circumstances that didn't provide to you in the way that you deserve, you're cutting them from your life and you're accepting life as it is. You're giving it up to the divine. And the beautiful part about this is luck is on your side, is on the bottom of the deck. So the fact that you are moving into this energy or you're currently in this energy during mid-month January lets me know that because you're clearing space from the bad, it allows for good positive energy to come towards you or to flow towards you. It truthfully does. Also, too, I got to kind of go back to that first side message. If this is somebody that's coming back to try to heal things with you, because I feel like their energy is like nonchalant, like, okay, if this works, then it works. If it doesn't, then oh well. But I think this is somebody who is having an understanding of your value or what you mean to them and how they've played a role as some form of toxin in your life. And I do feel like they are trying to come back and heal things. Again, this is not a love reading, but I, I just got that strongly at the beginning. Tell me more for my Pisces. Ooh, okay. Have an attitude of gratitude. I love it. And then like attracts like. So again, Pisces, by moving into this energy of, you know what? You don't serve me. You got to go. You haven't been of real use in my life in a positive way. I, I don't want to deal with chaos or drama from family, friends, work, etc. I'm releasing that. And through that releasing process, it's being grateful for the lessons that people have taught you, that made you stronger, that developed your character, that built your strength, that built the person that you are today, the man or woman that you are today, and having a, appreciation for those experiences, but also understanding that they serve their purpose, now it's time to release it, right? Once you understand the purpose that they serve, the lessons that you learn, it's not to continue to hold on to it. After that, it's, you know, understanding the lessons and the purpose and then being able to let it go and give it up to the divine. So that way you can get new experiences, which like attracts like, right? Moving into a new energy, allowing people that are meant to be in your life to enter into your life. So this month, mid-month, January, there is a need to have an attitude of gratitude here. Being thankful for what you lost, being thankful for what it's taught you, being thankful for all of the character development it has caused, and let it be, you know? And let it be. Tell me more for my Pisces spirit. Six of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Tell me more for my Pisces. Anything else, Spirit? Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. So absolutely, as I was saying, no longer working with people or allowing people in your life or allowing situations in your life that you constantly see yourself investing or giving to and to a, to a swords. It's like either they don't appreciate it, they don't they refuse to acknowledge it, they refuse to get on the same page, they refuse to cooperate <laughs> in some way, shape, or form, and you're just done. So ace of swords in the reverse. You're needing to get clarity. I think you needed clarity. How can I put this for you? I think you needed clarity within oneself to realize, you know what? I can't be the only one trying to put in effort or trying to make things work. I can't be the one that's always trying to heal a situation or trying to be the peacekeeper or trying to be the one that is waving the white flag. I can't always... I don't want to say be the bigger person because, you know, you should take the high road. But, you know, after so many times of being the bigger person and it doesn't do anything for you, it's like, OK, well, how many times can I keep doing this? Right. And seeing the results that I'm seeing. So it's like you needed to have that understanding. But I do feel like you now have that understanding, especially with the seven of Pentacles by this six of swords, seven of wands. You're moving on. You're moving on to a calmer area, a calmer energy. So, again, somebody could be coming towards you to heal a situation with you. But you're blocking things that don't accept you for the way you are, that don't appreciate you, that haven't given to you. And in the month of January, mid-month, 
The more you release these situations and relinquish the energy, even if you've already released the situation, but literally just relinquishing the energy of those lessons that needed to be learned, right? You learn the lessons, you take what you needed to take from it, and then you drop it. Once you really move further into that state, it's like your boundaries, seven of wands, your boundaries are newly reformed, right? You're now not allowing certain people, situations, or things to take place in your life. You're no longer giving easy access. You're no longer giving easy entryway. You only want people in your life that see you, that value you, that understand you, and that accept you. And the more you're in that energy with luck is on your side, the more spirit brings in those kind of people that best benefit and serve you. So Pisces, very short and simple and straight to the point. Your mid-month looks really great. Just keep doing the work. You know, mid-months are just kind of like energy check-ins. Keep doing the work. Keep doing what you need to do. All right? So, Pisces, I love you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Remember, luck is on your side. Spirit is bringing in your life the people that are truthfully deserving of you. And you are removing the people who are not. So, good job. I love you, Pisces. Bye.